be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, what we're gonna be doing is going over how to flip and chop samples. This is part one, so let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing you wanna do is select a software instrument track. All right, under software instrument track, you wanna go to your instrument and go to Quick Sampler. If you're brand new, just scroll down midway and it's gonna say quick sampler. Don't go sampler down here, go to quick sampler, stereo, and then go ahead and push create. All right, now this is your quick sampler. This is gonna be like the ultimate tool in Logic Pro 10 to chop up samples. They have different modes that you can use. We got classic mode, one shot mode, slice mode, and then you can record stuff in here. Now, um, let's just go over here and find something here. I have a track lib account. Um, so basically we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and find some. So we're gonna find some of a sample. Let's say if we wanted to find that, right? I'm just gonna download it. and it should have downloaded right here. So bet, I have it. So all I have to do now is take this sample I just downloaded from Tracklib or whatever. You can get it from Splice, you can get it from Apple Loops within Logic, wherever. And you're just gonna take it and drag it over here into the sampler. All right, you see how easy that was. Now, in classic mode, pretty much I can come over here and I'm not sure why I don't see like the little nose here. Uh, there we go. So sometimes you have to like joggle it to get it back. These little guys right here. Uh, what the heck? There we go. So you can take this guy right here and you can move him. There should be another one right here. Okay. And you can move it to a certain section of the uh, sample that you want to get. So if I push Command K, bring open this keyboard. Just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm using a MIDI keyboard. I can play, like let's say I play E. I can take it to wherever I want. You wanna make sure you always put follow tempo on and that way it's gonna lock into the, whatever tempo your session's at. pretty much get different parts of the song. So say if I wanted to get this part right here, if you looked um, at these, um, basically these little peaks or transients, you can move this little bar to one of those peaks or transients and it'll be a quick way to see where you wanna, you know, grab a sample. And let's say if you wanna just grab this, this part, right? You have access to do that. Now, you could do, uh, create like a loop point. If you go forward, you know, it'll have a point that will, you know, loop after you press uh, press play and play this all the way through. It will then begin to keep on looping it if you hold it down. So let's check this out. So that can make it very simple when it comes to like laying down your sample. So for instance, like if I wanted to go in here and lay it down. So that actually sim um, smoothly helped me to loop this sample and everything like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mute this real quick and we're gonna go ahead and double the track by pushing command D. And let's look at some other ways we can chop this sample up. Now, I'm gonna turn the loop off for now. Um, one cool thing you could do to the samples that you're dragging here is instantly reverse them. And reversing the sample is always gonna give you some sauce. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and click on reverse and now let's play that same sample, same note, everything, and just see how it sounds now. And say if you wanted to loop that, all you would do is just say loop and then loop it reverse since it's in reverse. So now let's go ahead and uh, lay that down as well. So we have those two locked in here. I'm gonna go ahead and double this one more time. And instead of reversing it this time, I'm gonna turn the loop off and make it go forward. I wanna show you another thing here. Um, and if you click right here, you see speed. You know how like Kanye West in a lot of his records in the past used to like use a lot of speed up or sped up samples. You can actually go over here and do the same thing by speeding it up. Now, for this particular sample, it's not really going to sound that good. Um, you can also play the different octaves to make it sound sped up. So let's go ahead and also loop that forward and lay this down. So we also have other modes here. Obviously you have like this one shot mode. Um, you have slice. Let's talk about slice real quick. So with slice, let's just turn off the loop. If I wanted to use slice, you just click on the slice mode right here. And as you can see, you have these different points. Now, if you look down here, there's different notes coordinating to your keyboard here. So like for instance, C1. Pretty much you can chop this sample up now. And now let's lay that down. As you zoom in here, you can actually move these points around and everything like that. So what I'm going to do first before I do any of that is just go ahead and quantize what I just did. Just highlight everything because this turned it into MIDI notes. And now you have this hard little sample chop we just did just playing around with the notes here. Let's listen to it again. Cool thing with it being MIDI, like say if the notes are too short, you can extend them. pretty hard so now what we could do is let's open this up and we can actually come in here and do some other things when it comes to chopping this up now if you look over here at this mode right here this is actually chopping this up by, via um, looking at the transients if you look over here each major transient there's a chop on this now you can set it to beat divisions you can set it to equal divisions so say if you you know something's a little off you can come over here and just move it over a little bit so I can say right here <laughs> do 
do stuff like that. Now, um, you can also come over here and do what I just did, manual version. So, um, I can come over here. And let's do this. Do that. You can do like a lot. Of, it's just a whole lot of stuff you could do to chop these, these, these samples up. So, if you go to manual mode, I can come over here and now chop up my own samples where I want them. Just click. All right, I want one right there. Let's say you want one right here. Now, another thing you want to keep in mind here is if you have it either on chromatic or if you go to just the white keys or the black keys. So chromatic means that it's going to play and break the sample up on all the different keys. So if you start at C1, it's going to go C1, uh, you know, uh, F, uh, C sharp, D, D sharp, and go all the way like that. But you can make the samples go on just the white keys too to make it simple, you know, if you want. Or you can come over here and just do black keys. And obviously you also have a lot of different options here. You can turn our filter on. Again, you can do that same thing with the transients. Option here to make it sound like kind of cool when it transitions from one sound to the next. So those are just some tips I wanted to give you. Um, if you like this uh, breakdown on how to do some sample chops and how to sample and, and chop up a sample in Logic Pro 10, um, make sure you get subscribed to my channel. I'm going to be doing a part two of this video where we're going to go even more in depth into this process. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have full video courses that you can download. We also have boot packs that are royalty free 100%. And you can also book one-on-ones and collabs with me. So say if you want to, you know, get on Zoom call with me, you see me, I'll see you. I can control your screen or you can control mine. We could do things like this and really break it down and get in depth. And we could do the same thing with a collab. So just let me know what's up. Go to BeatMakingBasis.com if you need any of those services or click in the links below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.